Okay, we're going to do a Mother's Day Cable Centre. I think we've done one already, but we'll do another one. Supermarket bunch of flowers. That comes with that. Onto the floor to pick up later. Now, we're going to use a third of a brick of the Isis and a breakfast bag. So I'm going to pop that in, squish it down like again. Not with probably the pink water that we've used for something else earlier, but it certainly won't hurt it. Top that up with a little bit of water as we do it. So we're going to lay out our flowers. We've got one choice flower there as a focal. We've got our greenery. I'm going to split it all up. We've got our filler flower that we're going to put in one pile, greenery in another. Then you've got your secondary flowers, your chrysanthemums, carnations. Okay, so we're going to make a start. First of all is greenery. So we're going to use our green wheat. We're going to cut it down like we have in previous videos so we get the most out of one piece. I'm going to do a rounded arrangement. One, because it's easier for me to do back and front. And two, because it's simple. So you're going to lay foliage out at either end. Just move it all in so we get a good shot. So we're going to form that shape. And that gives us our basis. In between here, we're going to use some more greenery. So we're going to cut that off into pieces again. But we're going to pull it in a little bit and not have it as long. So you're creating the depth in your arrangement that way. Okay. So we're going to bring that in a little bit and we're too long. So every time you pop it in and you change your mind, give it another snip because again, it's going to feed from that foam better and try not to put it in the same hole. Try and create a new hole. We're going to cut that down even further. And we're just going to have it in a little bit shorter than the first lot. So this piece can come down a bit. Get two lots out of that. Again and around. And this piece again. So using that woodier stem because it's easier to push in than just that loose little bit that comes off. So now we've sort of got it all covered, nearly round, and I think we're missing one little touch here. And you can go on forever, but that's certainly enough to suffice. Now these bits of greenery, we're going to cut down again. And you want to create a base. Now that's too young, I think I've mentioned that before. Anything that looks like new growth, chop it off, because it just doesn't last. There's another bit. We'll get rid of that. So these bits... Get that stick out of the way and we'll chop it down. It's really good strong fingers. Now we're going to make a centerpiece for the greenery too and work our way out from that again just like we did on the bottom. Round and round it goes basically. Now even though you do a round arrangement there always seems to be one side there's a front and a back but we'll try and get this perfect if we can. So that's all set up. Now We'll introduce a focal flower, which we're going to use a gerbra. That actually occurs naturally, that colour, in nature. Now, with this size container, you can take it up to a height, or we can do a down lower one, but you can do a, an arrangement in this size container that would be about 30 centimetres, so real or height. But we're going to keep this rounded, so that because it's for the middle of a table, people can talk over the top of it. Now, in floristry world, Ideally, you would wire this gerber. See how it's on a natural tilt, the way it's grown? So we are going to take some florist wire for this demonstration. We're going to cut it in half. We're going to place the wire up under the flower. Karen is just telling me how to show it so it shows for the camera. She's on one end and I'm on the other. We'll just chat between ourselves, hey love? Absolutely. We're going to lift this back up. You're really in a perfect world, you'd trim it, but we're not going to for speed. And that enables you to move that gerber around. So really you put a bit of floral tape over that where you chop it off. We're going to place that in the centre, right in the centre, down low, and we're going to build on that. So that way when you're talking, when you're at lunch, you can see over the top and you're seeing that lovely focal flower. So from that we're going to build with a little bit of filler flower around it, just to highlight it. This is Easter daisy, which is available pretty much all through winter, but because it's the white flower that's mixed in with this, you know, pre-bought bunch, we'll just use that and we'll trim it off. 
and we'll use that to feed you. You can use baby's breath, tetrocular, if you want to use the um, botanical name for it. And that'll just feature that centerpiece. And bring that all around and it'll highlight that gerber lovely. Now we're going to pull that greenery off. We're going to snip a little bit of that off because I've mentioned that in other videos. It's important no greenery goes into that foam, just floral stem. You can have a look from the top. Beautiful. So now we're going to build on this with a secondary flower, like a little carnation. And I think I've touched on this in other videos. If these little guys are a bit tight, just gently edge them open. And that won't hurt them one little bit. So we're going to bring that out. And we're going to use the same sort of pattern that we used with the green ring. And your flowers always sit above your green ring, your filler flowers. If you're working commercial floristry, obviously because you want to show your dollar value in your flowers and your focal flowers. But not only that, it just looks better. So you want to keep it down. You want to encourage Jeff down. Now I think he's in the wrong place. We're going to move him just a little bit. So he's pretty much level with this guy over here. They won't always do as they're told. You're going to have to fiddle them up with them and we'll open his little face up a little bit. So then we'll take more carnations and we'll go down to the next level. So that way again you're creating interest on all different levels of the arrangement. We're going to bring that down. And are these all going in about the same depth? They're about the same depth. Every flower you put in normally goes in about an inch. So you've got a lovely one here. He's, even in Mother Nature, it tends to do it. He's shooting at all different angles. So you're going to view that flower from, you know, if they're both on the same level, you wouldn't get the same aspect. Now I'm doing this back to front, so my perfect shape might be quite perfect when we tip it up, but we'll give it a go. So we're nearly rounded, but we'll fill it all out. So we've got lovely bright, bright, bright chrysanthemums in this. And we're going to trim all these right off the stem. So we're going to go all the way around. Let's move them out of the way. Trim it right down. There's more than enough for this arrangement. It's going to make a lovely full arrangement. And again, this is all out of, you know, a $20 to $30 supermarket bunch. But farmers markets are the best place to get your, your fresh flowers without registering the business and going through wholesalers. So with that one, we're going to leave him and give a little bit of height and leave that big stalk on it, just in case. We probably won't need to use it that way, but we'll do it anyway. So these guys, again, they're not as expensive as your carnations. So we're going to push them down. Not only that, the colour in these, the eye is going to be drawn into them. So they don't need to be as much in your face as the other flowers are. And we're just going to go around, we're filling the gaps in between. So all these little sheet bits, we'll probably bring them down lower and then accent the blooms we've already put in. Making sure no flowers on the same level is the best way for these rounded ones, or for any arrangement really. That way the eye gets drawn in. This one's got a nice bit of length, this bud, so we can bring that out a little bit further and bring it under the carnation. We'll do that on the other side. But we want to keep it fairly rounded, doesn't want to look like it's got wings and about to fly off. Got another big bloom there, so we'll tuck him in down low. I'll bring him round the back, actually. We'll swizzle round and we'll do a check and see how it's looking from all angles. So you're looking at the back at the moment. Bring that around. A bit too long. Bring him in. And we've got another one. So we've got another lovely colour that came in that. And look, it's really going to add some depth to it again. So bring this one through. We didn't need his long stem, but it's good just to... You can always subtract the flower stems, but you can't add. So 
So again, I always think it's best to take your stem of flowers when you're cutting it down and not using a full stem and it's multiple stems, multiple blooms on one stem, chop them off. That way you can see what you've got to work with. You're not sort of just diving in and think, oh, I wish I had one a bit longer, I wish I had one a bit shorter. If you get the most out of the stem of flowers right from the start, you sort of know where you're at a little bit and keep one long. So we're going to add these in amongst the others, keeping them again at a different height. Always important to keep it at a different height. And I think we can sprinkle these through on numerous levels actually. When you get to this stage of an arrangement, you've really got to be careful as you work it in. Try not to hit these chrysanthemums because they can shatter and you'll have petals everywhere and you'll ruin your flower. Are all chrysanthemums quite delicate? Chrysanthemums are a hardy sort of flower as far as a vase life goes, but yeah, they do prone to shattering easily. Like a carnation, you can sort of rub between your fingers and nothing will happen. If you do this because of the petal structure and it's got a, a nice sort of daisy-like shape in the middle, yeah, it will shatter. It will. Especially the larger the bloom, the more prone it is. So again, we're not perfectly round, you can go on a little bit forever, but for these purposes we won't. But it certainly is making for a, a nice table centre. And it's all done in the breakfast bowl with a tiny little bit of florist foam. I'm just going to adjust this fellow. Tiny little bit of florist foam, and he's sticking out a bit too far. We'll give him a little haircut, a little bit of a trim, showing back in. But re you really can. Now we've got a tiny, tiny little bit of the status here which is a nice rich purple colour but because not a lot came in that bunch we're going to use it again more around that nice feature flower that's in the middle just to bring the colour of that out a little bit. Now the fuller your foam gets the harder your flowers are to press in. Now we can elaborate on this even more which we may as well do. We'll bring this is called Astolatea. It's pretty much an all year flower, filler flower now. So again, you've got this real big bushy stem, but trim it all down. You know how many pieces you've got to work with when you're spacing it out. You've always got this centre piece, which is good to plonk right in the centre, but we've sort of filled that, so we might break it down even smaller. We'll see how we're going. And again, strip your bottom leaves off. That's really important. You don't want to be trying to shove those in as well, as well. You'll overcrowd it. So we're just going to bring that out around the bottom, give it a little bit of a skirt and use it all up. Alternatively, you'll see on most of the videos that we're using a lot of little bottles. It seems to be a bit of the flavour of the month at the moment and um, you can get so much out of one bunch of flowers. But we'll keep swizzling this around. A little skirt around the bottom of him. But don't let it overcrowd your, your better blooms. We'll bring it up through if you want to. And because we've got it, we will. And that's going to eventually open into a tiny, tiny little yellow daisy. Weather prevailing. I mean, flowers are a living thing, so whatever the weather conditions as to whether they're going to open, not open, die, not die, depends on if you're hot, cold, it's all down to your climate. So without going to too much fuss, I think that's not taking very long. Now, these leaves are hanging over, which you can leave like that. If you want to show your container off more, there's nothing wrong with giving it a bit of a haircut and you just do that by looking at your leaf, cutting in the stem so you're not seeing some big lump of stem sticking out and you can cut that off and then you can see your container a little bit more but we'll leave it just like that for now. Now if it's Mother's Day we can add and embellish forever. So I think with these little butterflies that you can get from your little cheapy shops you can put as many or as few as you like in. 
but we've got three, so we're going to use three. We'll tip that up and show it from all angles. And then if you want to go really crazy, you can hit it with some glue. And I think that would do for any Mother's Day, a little girl's party, anything you could use that for. And it's literally come from probably around $25 worth of flowers, including the farm. Perfect.